Hello, everybody. I think you might be a little confused. You might be asking, what does that title mean, Vampy? Why are we saying it's Storm Clan Legacies? Why is there no continue or switch clan option? What is going on? Well, you see, Storm Clan uh, save had been either corrupted or it just stopped working on me. I had recorded episode 5, and it did not... it worked fine. Well, besides one glitch where somebody had kits and it never showed up. But... We are starting Clan Storm Clan Legacies, and I know some of you might be saying, Well, what about Malo Run? What about Bristletail? I assure you that Storm Clan Legacies is not very different. I'm gonna switch that back all back on. It is not going to be too much different. We are still staying in Storm Clan. However, I am setting some set rules. You know how in the first Storm Clan, I was adding stuff as I went. Well, now I have firm rules. Rule number one. We will actually be doing what I want to call a POV challenge, where we select a certain cat to follow throughout their lives, throughout their life, pardon, for each generation. And what that means is, well, if we go and here, we will pick from one of these 12 cats to follow on into the next life. If we pick a kit, like Feather Kit here, we will stay with them the entire time. We will watch their progress. We will focus on them and their relationships. But if we are focusing on Feather Kit, we will not send out patrols personally, and we will not check Star Clan. This is me pretty much playing realistically. And also, we will be always rolling the dice from now on. We will always roll dice to see the outcome of our actions during patrols when we do eventually go on patrols. We will always, if, if we see a Star Clan cat talking to a live one, or a messing cat gets a prophecy or omen, we will always roll for that and we will always keep track of it. And as you can guess, Storm Clan Legacies, this takes place several moons after the events of Star of Storm Clan. And what that means is we might see some obvious Oh my goodness, we might see some obvious reincarnations like Crystal Paw here looks really the spitting image of Bristletail besides the eyes. And Sootfrost looks like a Mint Sky clone. That is funny. But yes, my friends, there is a lot to discover. Like, we might follow Gravel Kit here, or Sleek Kit seems like a good option, but first let's find our leader, Braver. Brave Rump, pardon, looks, she is confident, I like that. Lark Seed or Lark Star is adventurous, Crouchwing is loyal, Thistle Petal is empathetic, that is definitely our medicine cat. Um. Who else do we got? We got a lot of apprentices. Brook Bloom is careful. We don't have really anybody else. 
We are definitely taking Crystal Paw. Let's have Brave Rump. They look like they could be descended from Raven Kit, the small kit that Mitch Star adopted. Hmm. Yes. Deputy, we're gonna go Larkseed. And for Medicine Cat, we are going Thistle Petal. We are going to pick Cresselpaw, Newtpaw, Brook Bloom, and Sleek Kit. Well, I'm Crouchway, why not? It has been created and saved. Look at them. We are personally going to be following Sleek Kit. Well, actually, no. I think we're actually going to be following Kressel, Kestrel, Paw. As they look like the spitting image of Bristletail, which if you guys don't know, Bristletail had a tragic life full of suspicion full of discouragement she lost her mate very early and she was tricked with grief i think this might be her reincarnation because i don't think bristletail would have ever moved on and had kids with somebody else let's see who is Crystal, Crystal Brave Star is their mentor? Newt Paw is Brick Bloom's apprentice. Okay. So Brave Star and Kestrel Paw are going to go out really early in the morning. So early, in fact, I don't think Larkseed is even awake yet. I feel like Kestrel Paw doesn't even know what their life's purpose is. Kestrel Paw suggests this might be a good chance for the cats to practice teamwork. I agree. Now the thing about the roll rule, we will only roll if we know for certain that a cat can get injured, a cat can get sick, or if a cat can die. So little things like this, I'll look here. Great hunter, good speaker, confident and daring. I think they would go for this. Unfortunately, I don't think, I don't think Brave Star is that good of a teacher. <laughs> so Newt Paw might go out with Brook Bloom. They also suggest this might be a good time to practice, and they do have a good session. Larkseed will go out with Crouchwing, and I find a loner. Now, situations like this, we will always roll four. One through ten, they do not get, well, we rolled a four. So, no, they will not proceed. Like I was saying, one through ten, they will not uh, approach the loner, kitty pet, or rogue. 11 through 20, they will. Okay. And we will be going six moons to six moons. One. Brook Bloom has retired to the Elder's Den already. That is disappointing. And we also will be following the rule I had set prior in the series where we will go one moon without looking at anybody for a while. Unless we have to. Like with New Pot, I have to see. Their mentor is still Brook Bloom. That, that seems silly. Oh, they're going to be a warrior next time. So that's good. Oh, Crystal Paw. Okay, I didn't mean to check them. But Crystal Paw is going to go out first light with Brave Star. 
they all again nope they're not good at teaching so that didn't work out I feel like Lark Seed would kind of take on Nupal's like finishing training and invite Crouchwing to help. They come across a rogue, again we roll, they proceed, and they actually chase them off. See how that works? Um, here's our Star Clan cat. Okay, I think we're good to go. Two, Newtart has earned their warrior name. That's quite a pretty name. Not pretty, but it's endearing. Kestrel Paw is relaxing in camp. Way to go. <laughs> so like I said, we will mostly be paying attention to Kestrel Paw and their relations. Brave Star is spending time alone. I don't think they're going out on a patrol today. So I feel like Larkseed is going to take Newtheart and Crouchwing, Crouchwing out. They catch the scent of a fox. Again, we roll. It's a 10, so we won't be pursuing. I know this is going to get really redundant and repetitive soon, but it's what we got to do. So three. Nothing significant happened. That's good. So again, Kestrel Paw is getting sent out with Brave Star. Find a loner. Let's roll. No, they do not confront it. Lark Seed, Crouchwing, and Newtart again come across a rogue. They actually do proceed, but Crouchwing gets a scar. Oh, he lost his tail. Poor thing. Four. Crystal Paw earned a scar defending Crouchwing from a hawk. That's interesting. We've got a little bit of a torn ear there. Oh, and she's fighting with Crouchwing. I think Crouchwing might be mad that Crystal Paw went out of her way to endanger herself like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Crystal Paw again will go out with Brave Star pretty quickly. They catch the son of a fox. Let's see. They do not pursue. They come across the scent of a large rat. Now I know they can't get injured from this, so I'm going to go ahead and they actually catch it. Well actually, for this first episode, since we are going quicker, let, let's actually do 12. 5. Kestrel Song has earned their warrior name. That is a beautiful name. Oh, she has the exact same model. She's just flipped. I am positive that Kestrel Song is Bristletail's reincarnation. She looks exactly like her and is in the exact same pose. That cannot be a coincidence. She's gonna go out with her former mentor and the deputy. They come across a Thunderpath. They do not proceed. Newtheart will take out Crouchwing, kind of amused. They don't find anything useful, but they have learned a lot. Six. Crouchwing had a litter of three kits and Sleek Kit has started their apprenticeship. Let's actually look at that. Oak Kit, Sand Kit, and Rubble Kit. <laughs> and Sleek Paw has Newtart as a mentor. Oh, Crystal, Kestel, Kestrel Song is fighting with the Soul Petal. Why? They are hoping for a message from Star Clan soon. I wonder why those two are fighting. Yeah, it looks like Crouchwing had a affair with a loner and has brought back the kits for some reason. Hmm. 
Sleek Paw is going out with Newt Heart, and I think that Kestrel Song will hop along. The Kestrel Son of a Fox. They proceed, but they actually end up chasing them away. Okay. Crouch Wing will go. Well, actually, I think Crouch Wing would stay with his kids. Another scent of a fox. Looks like she came back, and they chase her away again. We don't have anybody in Starkland yet, so we can't check this yet. They... yeah, okay. Seven? Nothing has happened. That's good. Kestrel Song will go out with Brave Star First Delight. I feel like Larkseed is being a little lazy. They find a kitty pet. Oh, and they convince them to join. <laughs> Mange is his name, and he has a little red bow tie. That is adorable. He's fierce, too. That's cute. I feel like he- I feel like Newt Heart would be very amused and take him out with Sleek Paw. They find another loner. They do not proceed. Crouch Wing will go out with Dark Seed at the end and they find another kitty pet. They proceed. Oh. I don't think they joined. No. Oh well. Eight. Nothing significant. Let's see, how does Kestrel is gossiping? Okay. Brave Star is giving advice to Sandkit. Kestrel, you are amazing. <laughs> I feel like Kestrel is not very close with Newt Heart, if I'm going to be honest. I think they were just apprentices at the same time and they are just kind of meh with one another. Anyway, I feel like Kestrel Song in an attempt to befriend New Tart would go up with her during training with Sleek Paw. And they find another loner. They do not proceed. Brave Star will go up with their deputy Lark Seed, I think forcing her at this point. Yeah, they're touting Lark Seed's ability. And they play they fail to catch anything and they blame Lark Seed. Poor Lark Seed. Mange goes out on the last one with Crouch Wing. They come across a row. Let's see, do they go after it? No. Nine? Nothing happens again and it's Leaf Bear. Hmm. Sleek Paw will actually go out fairly early with Newt Heart and Kestrel Song. They find a loner interested in joining. Let's see. Again, no. Mange will go out with Crouchwing. They find a young loner and vol Mange volunteers to chase them off. They do not. Larkseed and Bravestar last. They find another loner interested in joining. They proceed, but they don't quite convince them. Okay. Ten. Nothing significant. Again. Let's look at what Kestrel is thinking. They are reinforcing the camp of brambles. That means she's probably going to go last. Um, let's do a Brave Star. Brave Star is feeling sassy. That's kind of funny. Um, Sleek Paw, can't wait to get be a warrior while you're two moons away there. Let's see. I think Brave Star is finally going to be able to drag Lark Seed out and perhaps invite Newt Heart and Sleek Paw with them. They come across Rogue. Do they chase it? No. I think they're just really being cautious. Crouch Wing will go on the last one with Kestra Song and Mange. They find another loner interested in joining. There's been a lot of those. They think about it, but decide against it. Okay. Sounds easy. 11, again, nothing significant. Kestrel is going to go out with Mange and probably Crouch Wing at the first light. The patrol has a disagreement and they look to Crouch Wing. 
Crouch wing stutters. They don't think they are fit to lead a patrol. Fair enough. Newt Hart would go out with Sleek Paw in the middle of the day. Newt Hart admits they had a vision from Star Clan. They can't make sense of it. That's too bad. We were gonna roll if they did make sense of it. Okay. It starts snowing soon after the patrol sets out. Do they turn back or no? No, they do not turn back. The patrol is caught outside in the snow and doesn't manage to hunt. Sad. Okay, coming up on 12. Sleek J has earned their warrior name. Oakpaw has started their apprenticeship, as is Sandpaw and Rubblepaw. But sadly, Rubblepaw died in an accident at six moons old. Oh, little one. Rubblepaw is disappointed in Brave Star. I think maybe they blame Brave Star for not protecting them or something. Let's see. Oakpaw is being trained by Sleek J. And Sandpaw is being mentored by Brave Star. Kestrel is watching over the kits. I feel like. Much like her previous carnation, she really might want kids later on in life. But we'll see if that ever comes to fruition, as I really don't think there's anybody suitable for you right now. And Crouchwing is too old, and as is Mange, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Unless you were to get with this old petal. Maybe that's why you two were fighting? But I don't think, again, the age difference is bothering me quite a bit. So we're going to look back on that. Although Sleek J is more your age. But they are spending a lot of time with Newt Hart. Which makes sense. Newt Hart was their mentor. So I think Sleek J would ask Newt Hart to help him with Oakpaw. They start telling ghost stories and of course they scare themselves silly. Brave Star will take Sandpaw out with Larkseed. They meet Splash Plan Sp Splash Plan Splash Clan patrol at the border, but nobody is hostile. Despite the out- <laughs> the turn's awkward, that's awkward. Mange, Crouchwing, and Kestrel all go out. They burst into a disagreement and look to Kestrel. Kestrel stutters. I do not blame her. They're both Toms. I don't think she's comfortable. But anyway, I think that's where we're going to leave off. Thank you so much for joining me. I apologize if you got attached to any of the cats in former Storm Clan. Maybe their reincarnations will start popping up now that we have started our own little uh, legacy journey for them now. That is it. Bye bye.